Uh, yeah. Continue with your thoughts about the World Championship. You say it's an amputated World Championship. It feels wrong that Magnus isn't there, but the reality is that Magnus didn't want to play the match. I mean, he made it very clear he's, uh, he wanted something different. Yeah, no, look, you know, again, it's, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't diminish, you know, the achievements of Napo and Dink, who qualified fair and square to play this match. But I think the difference with the, let's say, 1975, when Karpov became world champion and Fischer walked away, uh, is quite obvious. Fischer stopped, has stopped playing chess. Right. Magnus has not. Right. And, uh, and that's why it's, it's a very odd situation, especially for Grand Chess Tour, because we will have, quote unquote, the world champion in, in, in a month's time and the strongest player on the planet at the same time in the same tournament. <laughs> I mean, by the way, maybe that's, that's what we need now, kind of sensation and uh, more excitement. Um, and uh, picking my favorite among these two, I don't know. I think it's just it's the uh, both are very good players. And um, um, it's a couple of years ago, I would say Ding. But now, after pandemics, I think Nepo had better uh, performance. Uh, and also, he had an experience of playing the World Championship match. He lost to Matt, but he had uh, some experience. And that that's probably gives him a slight edge. Um, though, I think Ding is probably more stable than, than Nepo. But again, I, I think it's a very, very close.